In an extensive castle located deep in the woods of France lived a beautiful woman named Belle who got captured by a beast. What? What is, what is this? Belle? Belle is actually the beast! You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. This video is sponsored by me and my lifetime support group where you get a 12 week gym program, a at home workout program, and group Zoom boot camps almost every Saturday where my clients look at me like this as I constantly say, we're almost done guys. I promise. Along with staying in a very active Facebook support group full of nerds with a tad bit of Disney villain for life. Link is below. Please follow directions to make sure you get added to the group. Sometimes you guys send emails to my YouTube email. So make sure to follow the directions so you contact the correct email. Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel and my castle. My name is Belle the Beast and I'll be accompanying you during today's topic. And if you are new and confused about what's going on here, it's okay, watch a few more videos and you'll get it. Today we're talking about a dress, Tess Holiday, and fat phobia. So I have been secretly, well, not so secret, I'm very open. Rooting for Tess Holiday. No, I don't look at her content very much besides of what you guys send me. Yes, I have my opinions about her health at every size argument. But besides that, I was very ecstatic to see her posting about working out and being active and thus influencing her fans to at least move. So that was very superb. Now you guys occasionally, and by occasionally I mean all the time, slide into the beast's inbox and say, look what Tess posted, look what Tess is wearing, look at her. And like I said before and in previous videos that you guys have asked me to do numerous amounts of times, I don't agree with health at every size. She rages if somebody critiques her just a little bit, and I think her soul is fed by attention. But so is mine. And a lot of the posts that you guys quite frequently send me is just Tess being fat. Tess showing off clothes and Tess just in a bikini showing off her bottom. And quite honestly, I'm just not interested in that But Then it's happened. You guys intrigued me, hooked me in, and therefore I'm here to critique. The dress. This dress, this strawberry dress is causing a lot of internet rage in the fat positive community and we're going to check it out because I love sitting back in my mansion with my inserted Google search wine and watching people get pissed off over something that's probably not that big of a deal. Let's do it. January of this wonderful, thriving, positive, uplifting year. Tess Holiday elegantly pranced her fat body into the Grammys. Don't. Stop. Stop right there. Her brand is all about being fat and beautiful. I am a very accurate beast. She pranced her fat body to the Grammys wearing a pink, fluffy, and flowy dress with tiny little strawberries on them. And they sparkle. She, I'm guessing, had a magical time because what else other than magic happens at the Grammys? A crowd of rich people in one area showing off clothes and doing whatever rich people do. But this dress, this pink, fluffy, strawberry glitter dress landed her on the worst dressed list. People laughed and mocked her, said she was a beast. Why is she on the red carpet wearing such a dress? And cast her out of the town. We can't have a beast here, especially in that dress. And she was thrown aside, forced to run back to her mansion and wallow in her sorrow for the fact that the world would see her for nothing more than a beast. Months later, once the clouds have cleared, the birds once again chirped and the smell of summer, with a hint of virus, was in the air. An app called TikTok started featuring women wearing the same dress is Tess Holiday. The same dress that she wore first! But she was the one to end up on the worst dress list. She was the one cast out of the town as if she's some kind of monster. Even men were matching their girlfriend's beautiful pink glittered strawberry dress. And not one person criticized them. Not one person was angry or made fun of them for wearing the similar type of print and dress that she did. What was going on? This was appalling. She was hurt, confused, and the feeling of enrage took over her body. Her claws took to Twitter and Instagram to evidently free some of that rage she felt. I like how this dress had me on the worst dress list when I wore it in January to the Grammys. But now, because a bunch of skinny people wore it on TikTok, everyone cares. To sum it up, our society hates fat people, especially 
when we are winning. And this post, this one single post, lit a fire in not just fellow fat folks, but thin folks, average folks, hug folks from other towns to now band together and complain on the internet. But my audience, that's Tessa's story. And I have to say I was a little baffled and perplexed because with my own Claws. I wanted to find this worst dress list that Tess Holiday said that she was on. So I took to Google and looked at the most popular searches. Cosmopolitan. She's not even on that one. Los Angeles Times. She's not on that list either. I searched a few more and I could not find that list. What is going on? Did they remove it because of the internet rage? But then boom, there it was. Just like she said. But I was once again baffled and perplexed because they had many celebrities, YouTubers, and influencers on this list critiquing their clothing. Nikita Dragon's dress was described as, isn't super cute in our eyes. Jamila Jamil's choice of attire was detailed as a fail, and they completely depicted Chris Brown as a straight up clown, which I agree with. So I'm sure you are asking, what did they define Tess Holiday's attire as? It must have been something so positively negative. And most importantly, Fat phobic. Well, let's see. Seriously magical. Wearing the whimsical Larika Matoshi, this model looked seriously magical in the flowy dress covered in strawberries. So now, my audience, I am once again baffled, perplexed, and quite frankly, a little offended. Did Tess actually find herself on a worse dress list? Did she just see this title, refuse to read what the critique said to protect her heart? Or did she see the title, attain the internet rage of the beast, but then decide to read it? However, it didn't fit her narrative on Instagram that everyone hates fat people agenda. And so therefore she disposed of the information that it was actually positive, didn't cite the list that she speaks of, and then took to Instagram and Twitter to further her proof that the world indefinitely hates fat people. I feel used, YouTube. I was ready to engage in the internet rage towards 16 year olds on TikTok about a dress because a grown adults didn't get attention when they wore it. It's extremely worthy of internet rage. But now, Miss Tess Holiday, my rage is pointed at you. Where are these lists? Tell me, I must know so I can join this fight. Anyway, maybe I missed an article. Maybe Tess is telling the truth and she cited exactly where she found the list. Once again, I don't follow her. I don't really watch her stories unless you guys send them to me. So I wouldn't know. So with that aspect, let's just say that she did end up on a list. Let's just say that the positive review that we found was negative and they said she looked appalling. This whole the world hates fat people doesn't seem to be proven in this specific points that she's making. Why? Because there were thin people on all of the list and these thin people also got critiqued in a negative way. Also, as I read through the popular critiques, no one was critiqued on their body, just on the clothing. The only person bringing up their body was Tess. I didn't see not one of the other people complain that they got on the list because of their body shape. The best and worst dress lists are nothing more than an opinion and sometimes there will be people who just don't like your clothes. And there's going to be times that people don't like the clothing on you. I personally think if I put that dress on, I would look like a beast. I don't think my body will look as good as someone else's body in it. I'm not too sure why some people in certain groups don't understand that there are types of clothing that look better on these people and more fitting on these people. It doesn't mean that you can't can't wear it, but not everyone has to like it. But now you're saying, my adorable, delicious looking audience, what about the skinny TikTok girl? They're thin and they didn't end up on any worse dress list. Well, yeah. They didn't go to the Grammys. They're little 16 year olds on TikTok. How would they be on the list? Tess Holiday, what are you talking about? But now you're saying, but Bell Beast, it's more popular. Okay, let's look at some numbers. TikTok is a very popular app used by young children. 27% of its users are between 13 and 17 years old, but internal data from March 2019 shows that its largest age demographic, 42%, is the youngest adult crowd. Combined, the 13 to 24 year old segments rep up about 69%. Could put a joke right here, but I'm a classy beast. The app is flooded with teens and young adults, and when young adults see their favorite TikTok star wearing something unique, such as a fluffy dress with sparkly strawberries, they simply want it. So my dear watcher, I think I've come to a conclusion. There was either a misunderstanding or a very deceitful conniving plan where the goal was to pierce 
the hearts of her followers with anger to continue this fat phobic proposal. You tell me. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. This is Disney Month on this channel and I was very happy to be included in the lineup. There are two other Disney themed videos that I will link below and more to come. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button. Turn on your notifications so that you won't miss the next character. Now I've got to go feed my little mini beast some food and it seems that I have a whole audience of little morsels that she'd probably like to eat. What do you mean you're not hungry? Then go ahead and starve! You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on Neighborhood all in your eardrums